Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, our topic of discussion is to continue on my previous video. On my previous video, I have defined what is link budget. I have also derived the equation of link budget. Today, I'm going to show you an example how to calculate the link budget. So this is our objective for today's video. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's video, please send me an email. So this is an equation that I have derived on my previous video. In the interest of time, unfortunately, I'm not able to re-derive this equation again. However, at under the item number one in the description below, can you will be able to find the YouTube that derived this equation here. Okay, so if you are keen to know how we can actually derive this equation, okay, click under item number one in the description, you will be able to find the YouTube that derived this equation. Okay, so like what I mentioned in the interest of time, you probably must so-called take it that this is the equation to calculate the link budget. Okay, so this is the example. Okay, consider a base station in a cellular system. They operate in a large city with the following parameters. So the frequency of operation is 915 megahertz. Okay, the transmitter output okay, is what we need to determine. So we need to determine how much transmit output. So the receiver sensitivity okay, is minus 113 dBm. The transmitter antenna gain 6 dB, receiver antenna gain 3 dB, the height of a base station 50 meter, the height of a receiver 2 meter. So the question told us that we can assume all other loss, okay, except okay, we need to consider the path loss and the radon fading. Okay, so the question also told us that okay, we must establish the communication link with 99.8% confidence level. Okay, so this is the task that we need to do. We need to calculate what is the transmit power in order to ensure that we can establish the link with a confidence level of 99.8%. Okay, so let's jump straight how to do this question. Okay, first task, okay, they told us to write down the system equation. Okay, so this is the equation that I've derived, as I mentioned, under the description, item number one. Okay, you will see how I actually derive this equation here. So this is the system equation. Okay, in the question, okay, they never mentioned about the cable loss or the feeder loss. So we can neglect them. So this is what we can get after we neglect away the feeder loss. So this is the item number one we can ignore. Item two we can ignore. So that's how we derive this equation here. So this is the system equation. Next. Given that a cell radius of three kilometers is required, okay, we are tasked to calculate the path loss. Have you remember on the video, I have done three ways to calculate the path loss. Okay, one is the free space path loss. One is the plane earth model. And last but not least, the Akumura Hata model. Can you still remember for Akumura Hata, okay, it actually suitable to use in urban environment. The question mentioned that it's a large city and therefore I will use Akumura Hata method to determine the path loss. Okay, again, in the interest of time, I probably can't explain in deep detail how I derive this path loss, but under the description, under the item two, okay, you can take a look on the YouTube that show you step by step how I actually derive the path loss using Akumura Hata method. Okay, so take a look on that particular video. But from the calculation here, you can see that the path loss is 138.14 dB. So this is the path loss between the transmitter and receiver. Okay, so next, okay, we are required to determine how much power we need in order to establish 99.8% of communication link. Okay, so this is a radian chart here. So 
on the x axis is the percentage on the y on the y axis is basically how much to add in order to ensure larger confidence so for this point here let's take a look on 50 you can see that under normal calculation with no additional power okay means that 50 percent of the time you will be able to receive the signal okay so which means that if you don't include any fake margin okay 50 percent of the time you will receive the signal 50 percent of the time you will not be able to receive the signal so the question specified that we need to achieve 99.8 percent so this is 99.8 percent so therefore you draw this line over here okay you realize that with an additional of 25 db okay, you will be able to increase your chance from 50 percent to 99.8 percent so this is how we can make use of this charge here okay by increase certain amount you actually can increase your chances to transmit over the message or so okay so this is the equation okay remember we don't need the feeder loss so we we write this equation over here and we substitute the number before we substitute the number okay remember the question task us to do the transmit power so i shift my transmit power on the left okay what you can do is basically all this equation you shift it to the left Okay, so this is how I derive this equation here. So after that, I substitute the value inside the equation. So the receiver sensitivity is minus 413. Transmitter antenna gain is 6 dB. The pub loss is 138.14 dB. The receiver antenna gain is 3 dB. Fake margin is 25 dB. So everything I calculate, the transmit power, I need 41.14 dBm in order to achieve 99.8%. So this is how I can increase my chances of transmitting the message over the recipient okay, by consider the fake margin here. Okay, so in order to guarantee detection at the receiver, okay, we must ensure this, the transmit power at whatever gain that you have, minus away whatever loss you have, this number, it must be at least greater or equal to the receiver power. So with this, then you can probably have some form of guarantee detection at the receiver. Normally, for receiver sensitivity, normally we will specify a signal to noise ratio or a bit error rate okay, to quantify the receiver. Okay, so this is the minimum signal strength that must be received in order to guarantee a certain level of performance at the receiver output. So with this, I'd like to end my video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.